okay uh, good morning good afternoon good evening fellow toastmaster and dear guest welcome to meeting number 80 of chakandasta toastmaster club my name is yopeshar lenka so today i am playing the sa role so being the sergeant uh, sergeant at arms of the meeting it is my pleasure to be the first speaker of today the mission of the toastmaster club we provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth so in order to have a smooth meeting here are some ground rules please put yourself on mute when not speaking please keep your camera switched on so that speaker can enjoy the virtual stage environment be be alternative throughout the meeting don't interrupt while someone is speaking please rename yourself as meeting role underscore your name if you are a guest then guest underscore your name support the speaker with your with your warm smile clap and click the reaction button to convey your appreciation and applause please refrain from three talking about three uh, taboo topic politics religion and sex please connect with me separately if you are facing any connectivity or network issue let's have a great meeting today without any further ado let me hand over the control to the presiding official of the day mr ddm raj bharat raj bharat he is a it professional right now he is working uh, with tcs with a huge round of applause let us welcome the presiding officer of the day ddm raj bharat over to you thank you so much shiva for warm welcome and opening this meeting with great note after probably three or four meeting uh, i am getting chance to attend uh, chokan dashta toast masters club meeting i believe i had back to back commitment so yes welcome to every, welcome everyone to another new meeting of chokan dashta toast masters club i would like to uh, ask one question with you all how many you have bank account almost yes. everyone of you have bank account oh have bank account okay yes is there do not have have okay nice so what do you keep uh, in your bank account paisa paisa money okay, documents money documents and uh, documents paisa paisa <laughs> you can keep paisa you can keep documents you can keep your gold you can keep your valuables your will okay. your ornaments yes yes ornaments have you heard about emotional bank account <laughs> that's where you keep your partner that's great great i am listening first time <laughs> okay she was listening first time so what do you think how or what are the basis or what are the basic or uh, backbone of emotional bank account how do we build our emotional bank account uh gratitude yes love yes for well, love i mean love to everyone loving the world yes positive is really the more you give more you get in emotional bank account yes, yes. true yes so emotional bank account is an account where we, which get built with trust which we so to people who are along with us and it gets be stored here our uh, gratitude we store here our love we store here our commitment we store here our promises we store here about our values and all this which are much and much higher valuable than money and passa which you all just spoke few moments back 
hope you all have great store in your emotional bank accounts with this let's begin today's meeting and uh, let me invite host master of the day who would be host of today's meeting he is a distinguished host master vithamran naya who is a new businessman in this world so let's welcome with huge round of applause distinguished host master vithamran naya over to you vithamran thank you very much mr president my dear fellow toast masters it is a great pleasure for me to be with you all after a gap of almost two plus months precisely i had been missing from chok industries meeting i think from the officers election meeting of course from that time onwards i had so it's almost four months for me not even two months and honestly i missed you all not just because of the physically i mean uh, not connected well with this the main thing what i was missing the fun the love the care the compassion the learning what chok industries offer to each and every member of this community so once again i am so happy to be back you with all with a different set of things in my mind different set of things when it comes to toss masters activities today we are here and i must congratulate each and every one of you for joining today's meeting and taking up the roles assigned to you by force or by choice that shows that we are willing to accept the challenge whatever it may be the cost and believe me my dear friends mm -hmm. if you want to change you need to accept the challenges without challenges there is no change you will be stuck to where you are till the time you are forced you are willing to accept the challenge and some challenges are thrown to you while some are chosen my take on this is that be it a challenge chosen by you or be it a one thrown to you face it because without taking the challenge you cannot change yourself or someone else around you so with this once again i welcome you all today to today's meeting and the first role player i wish to introduce today is the grammarian the grammarian is a toast master relatively says himself as a new toast master and he believes that the finest challenge he faced in toast masters was to deliver the ice breaker speech as many of us feel because that is where we started our journey and that challenge how he overcome was by preparation that shows that preparation is key to the success the toast master who didn't want to comment on anything which he not having at least a bit of good knowledge on the subject that shows how committed he is let us welcome toast master praveen to explain the roles and responsibilities of grammarian today toast master praveen yes thank you toast master pitambran good out good evening pedo toast masters and dear guests my name is toast master praveen and i am playing the role of grammarian in today's meeting my role as a grammarian would be note, would be to note down the correct usage and the not so correct usage of english language for example i would be noting down the correct usage like correct usage of english grammar words or usage of any phrases idioms and also i would note down some incorrect usage of grammar or incorrect usage of words in sentences and before that i would also like to introduce to you the word of the day and the idiom of the day the word of the day for today's meeting is effervescence which means state of being active positive and full of energy 
example of this sentence is he describes himself as being effervescent ambitious and intriguing so that is the word of the day for you all which is effervescence and next is the idiom of the day which is jump on the bandwagon which means to follow a popular trend its example is seeing all his friends getting married he decided to jump on the bandwagon and get and get married too so that is the idiom of the day which is jump on the bandwagon i would urge all the toastmasters and the speakers to uh, use the word of the day and idiom of the day in their speeches and i will present my report in the end that is the evaluation segment thank you that's all from my side and back to toastmaster pitam thank you thank you very much toastmaster Praveen for presenting the word of the day, effervescent in an effervescent manner. I must say because the way you jumped into the bandwagon of Toastmasters and grabbed the opportunities shows that you are an effervescent individual. Once again, next person in queue to be introduced is the timer. And the funniest thing, or before telling the funniest thing of this. individual i will tell something different <laughs> this close master is someone who believes that to be a better version of yourself you need to do everything or anything and everything you you are doing better than yesterday and it is a challenge for many of us because we often feel that you know whatever i have been doing right it's okay to continue in the same fashion but what toastmaster aster believes is that you no know, you have to revisit what you have done yesterday to become a better version for today and the time ahead and the funniest thing what toastmaster aster faced in toastmasters journey was a spot on evaluation assignment given to toastmaster is yes, to evaluate distinguished toastmaster pidambaran speech <laughs> on the spot evaluation assignment and she was learning the tricks and tips of evaluation then but she took that challenge and done her role vehemently in the same thank you very much toastmaster yes, sir and would you please tell us the timing criteria for today's meeting thank you uh, dtm pidam pidavaram Uh, okay i am the timer for today my role is uh, my duty today as a timer is to time the speakers with their prepared speeches table topic speeches and evaluations here's the demonstrate I, i will i will not demonstrate because it will take time but i will just mention um for four to six uh, minutes prepared speeches green card will be shown at 4 minutes yellow card at 5 minutes and red card at 6 minutes plus 30 seconds grace period for 5 to 7 minute speech green card will be shown at 5 um, yellow will be yellow card will be at 6 minutes and red card at 7 minutes plus 30 seconds grace period for table topics will be 1 to 2 minutes green card at 1 minute yellow card at 1.5 minutes red card at 2 minutes um, plus 30 seconds grace period for evaluation 2 to 3 minutes green card at 2 minutes yellow card at 2 and a half a uh, red card at 3 minutes plus 30 seconds grace period for master class 25 seconds uh, 25 minutes sorry thank you back to you um dtm pidambaram thank you thank you very much toast master asta for elaborate giving us the timing criteria for today's meeting for the speeches table topic evaluation and all the thing i believe toastmaster shilpi is not in the floor to do the account role so who is going to be the account today if toastmaster raj can you uh hi pitambaran i think we can uh, skip probably uh, as uh, oh, even oh, i have oh, oh. having under oh no issues so ladies and gentlemen this challenge or journey of challenge i must say by one way in toastmasters started from the day 
we joined the meeting as a guest. The first challenge we faced was that whether to be a member or not, whether I should jump into the bandwagon of this journey of learning or not, whether I should be at least witnessing few more meetings before taking a decision because these effervescent people are so grateful that they are getting trained to each other, entangled, engaged with each other in the best way possible. That is through the education session of Toastmasters meeting. And that is the essence of Toastmasters meeting because we are here to learn from others. That makes Toastmasters journey very much interesting as far as for my, myself, I believe. And I believe that many of the Toastmasters will agree with me because the cream of Toastmasters is that we not just build leaders, we not just build speakers, we are here to be a better human being. And for that it is, what we need to do is to grab every opportunity comes to us. So let us see today's opportunity holders are there to transform themselves throughout in the meeting and beyond. We are having the first speaker that is Toastmaster Laura with her icebreaker speech. Before coming to Toastmaster Laura, the evaluator for Toastmaster Laura's speech is Distinguished Toastmaster Von Eric. And Distinguished Toastmaster Von is an area director of this term. And what challenges DTM Vaughan faced during his tenure so far as the area director is that he had been traveling quite often. Like the meeting hour is two hours, he used to travel four hours or plus more than that to attend a club meeting. That doesn't mean, that doesn't stop DTM Vaughan from attending the meeting because he believes leadership is something which need to be passed on, which need to be carried on. And a legacy what DTM won't want to leave to his successor is that to learn from mistakes so that you will be a better leader tomorrow. DTM won, would you please read out the objective of the first speaker, Toastmaster Laura? Thank you, DTM PD. The purpose of the project is for the member to introduce himself or herself to the club and learn the basic structure of public speech. Over to you. And the time, by the way, is four minutes to six minutes. Over to you, DTM TV. Thank you very much, DTM Warren. Now the speaker. The speaker, I must myself say that the biggest challenge for this particular speaker to continue the journey in Toastmaster was about challenges only because not only just limited to Toastmasters fraternity challenges because of the pathways, because of how to sign in with this, how to do all this, but not that. Challenges of her own because of health issues because of various factors which could force someone to sit in the comfort of home and do the rest of the thing. But Toastmaster Laura took these challenges in the positive way and I believe that that is what she is of. Turning challenges into opportunities and that is what true example what we are going to witness today. So let us hear from the icebreaker speech of Toastmaster Laura Jobs. The floor is all yours. Greetings and salutations, my fellow Toastmasters, dear friends and guests. I am honored and privileged and very humbled to be here with you today to jump on the bandwagon and give my icebreaker speech. It is taking me one year 
but I overcame the things that got in my way and I am here to introduce myself. And I am Laura Mae Jones. I am a mindfulness master, a paralegal, a notary public, and a writer. I am the mother of one son and two beautiful stepdaughters, grandmother of six and great grandmother of two. I am 65 years old. I am from Pennsylvania and I am the youngest of six. Um, there's not many of us left, but I was a baby and my parents divorced when I was very young and my mother had to work two full-time jobs to support us. So she was never in the home. As a result of that, I, re I experienced a lot of emotional abuse, abandonment issues and things of that nature. I saw a lot of things at my mother's work as she worked at a mental asylum where she was in charge of 75 homicidal and suicidal patients. So I learned very young that there were a lot of hurting people in the world. And I wanted to give kindness to every hurting soul. Um, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, further about me, as a child, because we were very poor, I had a television and food. So I ate and watched TV and I developed a lifetime of obesity issues. I'm very proud to say that I was able to lose over 150 pounds twice in my life. The last time being over a decade ago and I have kept off 130 of those pounds which is exactly what my husband, John, weighs. And by the way, my most precious gift is my husband, John W. Jones. He's a retired master sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. And he weighs exactly 130 pounds. So when I feel like I can't do something, I remind myself if I was able to achieve losing 130 pound man and keep it off, there is nothing I can't do because we are limitless. I know this from a near death experience I had in 2015. And I woke up and I thought, what am I gonna do with myself now? How can I make a difference in this world? And my passion, is to be loving kindness and light into the darkness of other people until they can see our light and come out and join us and live a life worth living. We all can create that life. I have overcome many things, including rape, depression, 30 years in the mental health system that did not help. I was able to learn to live mindfully, which is the cure for everything with emotional issues. I was emotionally bankrupt. I was depleted. But now I am picky about what I put into my bank account and what I put out of my bank account. So be effervescent in your choice of what you allow to come out of your bank account so that you do not end up bankrupt. And with all of that being said, I am honored to be a Toastmaster. And it's ironic to me that I um, never heard of Toastmasters until I met Vaughn, yet their headquarters was in the town I lived in. And I just want to thank all of you. May you have a blessed day. I'm looking forward to going forward with you in the future. And in my humblest love, thank you so much for being here today.
I turn it back over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Lara Jones. Dear Toastmasters, I truly believe that whatever I said about Lara was the right thing because she faced the challenges. And here is this for you, Toastmaster Lara. Yeah, I get a ribbon. <laughs> ribbon for you on your ice breaker. Thank you very much. Thank you. Grandma, that is the most beautiful word I could pick from your speech because that is something amazing. Moving to the next speech. Now, before going to the next speech, I wish to ask how many of the new members you are here who have completed level two in Toastmasters? Any of you? Um, Ashok, uh, great. Danish, completed level two. That's now think something great because there is something surprise for you as well there in Toastmasters journey. So the second speaker today is attempting another level two speech. And to evaluate that particular speech, we have another seasoned Toastmaster. I call him a seasoned Toastmaster because I have seen him performing almost all the roles in the meeting. Every time when he joined to attend the meeting, I look up to him to learn something new. The, the charm he brings in, the positivity he brings in, the effervescence all together he brings into the meeting, despite of certain challenges he is facing right now, the spirit of being together, that is what leading him today. And he believes that he wished to challenge himself to accept the ever-changing change with contentment. That is something great. And he want uh, his fellow members, that is us, all of us to follow his steps in this. How beautiful it is. Toastmaster Manoj Lenka, the evaluator of Toastmaster Imran. Please read out the objectives. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Pitambaram Nair. Today's uh, target speaker is a young man from Dhaka, Imran. Is attempting pathways presentation mastery, level two, project two. And in this, uh, he's going to deliver a talk for five to seven minutes time. Off. And what I'm going to look for is his body language. When you speak, it's not only our voice box that speaks, but our effervescence could be exhibited well. When you jump into the bandwagon, to speak with a complete body. And that's what he's going to exhibit today. So now let's see how Imran succeeds in exhibiting his whole body speaking to all of us. Thank you. Over to TMOD Pitambaram. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Manoj Lanka, for giving us what you are going to do with Imran's speech today. Great. Then the speaker, Toastmaster Imran. My memories goes back to somewhere in October or November 2022, 2021, in fact, when I first time saw Toastmaster Imran on the screen attending Toastmasters meeting as a guest. What I must say is that commitment is the key to success here. Whatever change we could see in the speaker today is because of the commitment he did, the challenge he accepted wholeheartedly to become a great speaker. And Toastmaster Imran believes that new learning, new experience thrills him because he is willing to accept the challenge. And he, he not only wants to challenge himself, he wished to challenge the fellow members that to stop procrastinating, 
so that you can do the things on the time, every time. Toastmaster Imran Talukta with a speech title, the past is gone, let it go. The past is gone, let it go. Toastmaster Imran Talukta, the floor is yours. My life is so beautiful. I'm always feel so happy about my life. Absolutely. I have ups and downs in my life. But still, I feel so happy. I find my life is so beautiful. My dear fellow Toastmaster and distinguished guest, what about your life? Are you find your life as beautiful as like me, or you find your life is so hard to moving forward? If you find your life is difficult, don't worry. Today, your friend Imran is here to give you a life lesson that help you to make your life beautiful. I always love to watch YouTube videos when I have a spare time in my hand. So when I was in my school, I used to scroll my YouTube and I, all of a sudden, I found an amazing YouTube video where the lecturer asking his student, showing this type of bottles, a half full bottle. He asking his students, student, can you tell me how much Wait, it would be if I hold this bottle. The student replied, it would be 200 gram. Someone says it would be 500 gram. And someone said it would be one kilogram. The teacher said, the actual weight of this bottle is depends on how much we hold this bottle in our hand. If we hold, this bottle for one minute, this weight is nothing for us. But if we want to hold this bottle for one hour, it will be gradually so heavy to hold it. Our hand will start shivering. If we want to hold this bottle for one day, we cannot hold it. It will be so heavy. Even it will going to make your hand paralyzed. So now the lecturer said, think this bottle of water is your life, pain, sad experience, sufferings, struggles. If you hold, if you want to hold your sufferings too long, it will make your life so bad. So if you want to make your life beautiful, try to come out from this bad experience as early as possible and move forward. By getting this amazing life learning, I start applying this learning to my life. I was studying hard 10 years to sit for my final exam, secondary school examination. I was about to start my journey to the exam center. I was so happy. I asked my mother, mother, please give me 100 taka so that I can treat myself as well as my friend with good food. But my father refused to give me 100 taka. 100 taka is equal to one, only $1. Believe me, I start crying. My mother was right because she was struggling to support our family with limited budget. But on that time, I was not matured enough. So I start crying and start my journey towards the exam center. Now, can you guess what I did in my exam center? 
I forget about my past and give my best in my exam and I made a great result. Another story, when I was living with my father, I was studying, I was doing job, I'm doing hard work in my life. Still, my father complaining me that you are good for nothing. Listening this, I become so angry and instantly I leave his place. I go to my cousin house and I start leaving. My father started looking for me here and there. And after two to three days, he find the exact location of my and then my father expressed how much he loved me, how much he cared for me. But I was not mature enough to understand his love. But though I was angry, but I never did anything wrong with my life. If I did something wrong with my life, maybe today I'm not able to hear to speak in front of you. So the learning is, Never hold your past bad experiences with you. As early as possible, come out from this bad experience and move on. What is done is done. What is gone is gone. One of the best life learning is to learning how to let it go and move forward. Yes, it's okay. Sometimes you look back to your past, but not, never let your past to stop moving forward. So my dear fellow Toastmaster and guest, my message to all of you, if you feel something bad, let it go, move forward. If you follow this learning in your life, your life will be so beautiful and you will always feel happy. So my challenge for you, everyone, the past is gone. Let it go. Over to you, Master of Srimani. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Imran. Let it go, no matter. The third speaker today, is attempting from level three. Now, before going to the speaker, I want to, I was asking you all about no? those who completed two levels in Toastmasters pathways program, the new Toastmasters. And we are having two of them here. I want to ask you, did you enroll yourself to the Toastmasters mentoring program or not? Those who completed two levels, did you enroll to Toastmasters mentoring program? I think no, Toastmaster Yogi is not, no. he said no. no. I wish you all, those who completed two levels, a provision VP education, get yourself assigned with, I'm willing to transfer one, of, one or two of my uh, mentees to you. Enroll yourself, take that challenge. You can see how it is going to make the difference in you because Mentoring experience is something you learn. You are, you are not only giving your experience, whereas you are learning something from your protege. So I challenge both of you and those who are going to complete level two again, challenge yourself to take the role of being a mentor to your co-members. I accept that. I accept that. Great, great, great. That is what all about changes. No? Now coming to the third speaker. The third speaker is attempting his level three first project. And to evaluate that speech, we have a Toastmaster, a distinguished Toastmaster. And the funniest thing is that I asked this Toastmaster, what was the biggest challenge you ever faced in Toastmaster's journey? Keeping in mind, that I was expecting a reply, chartering this very club. But the answer was something very different. That is, 
presenting myself confidently was the biggest challenge DTM Raj faced in his Toastmasters journey. And his advice to all of us is that consistency bring even impossible transformations. Consistency brings even impossible transformations. How beautiful it is because till the time you try consistently, you are not going to get the results. You are leaving it a bit at least. So try out consistently, attend meeting consistently. If you want to improve the so-called skills, what you are looking for in Toastmasters, do it in the right way. Distinguished Toastmaster Raj Bharat, would you please read out the speech objectives of the speaker, Toastmaster Ashok, please. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of that day, Distinguished Toastmaster Pithamran. Final speaker, Toastmaster Ashok, would be delivering first a speech of level three. Path is presentation mastery. And objective of his speech would be, he would be practicing to speak on persuasion. I wish he would be able to persuade every one of us with his speech today. Timer kindly note, time is five to seven minutes. Five green, six yellow, seven red. Best wishes to us. So back to you, Pitamran. Thank you very much, DTM Raj. And the speaker want to persuade us. Not only that, he wished to challenge all of us. And you know what it is? He wished to throw three challenges to us. When he asked him one, he want to give us three. One of the challenge, what he wished to throw us is that, post a picture or a video of yourself addressing a larger gathering. That could be in your department, at your workplace, even in a family gathering, but at least take a video and post it. And the second thing he would to give to us is, challenge yourself by taking up a new role, which you have never done so far. In the Toastmasters meeting, be it a master class taker, why not? And Toastmaster Ashok himself believes that he wants to step into the bandwagon of the so called expertise when it's come to the master class taking, right? But the funniest thing about Toastmaster Ashok is that he likes to work under pressure till the time he's not getting a band. No, he is not giving his 100%. And that's what all about his speech today. I don't believe in giving 100%. I don't believe in giving 100%. Toastmaster, so go play. The floor is yours. Thank you. I am the Toastmaster, Pitam Maran, Toastmaster of the day. Friends, one year back, after attending few club meetings, I started feeling effervescent and jumped on the bandwagon of those masters to become a better speaker. Yes, I don't believe in giving 100%. Why do I say so? We'll come to that. It is said that if you want to achieve success in your life, you must give your 100% in whatever you do. Now, I wish to ask all of you a question here. You may respond with your, uh, by raising your hands. How many of you believe in giving 100%? Okay, Laura, Esther. One more question. How many of you really give 100% in whatever you do? Okay. I noticed that with PB. One last question. How many of us, or how many of you, or all of us, really know that exactly how much our 100% is? Do we know that? So when we do not know that, how can we assure that we will give 100%? So that is the key. I will try to persuade uh, all of you with my uh, points here. 
fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Do we have any idea of our brain capacity or our physical capability? Perhaps no. See, physical capability, we can always improve by practicing, practicing and taking good care of our health. But what about brain? It is almost impossible to say anything about our brain's capacity. It is said that even Einstein could use his only 5 to 7% brain capacity. Okay, leave that aside. But when we do not know about our capability or capacity, how can we say that we will give 100%? That is why I say I don't believe in giving 100%. How many of us have a habit of watching TV while taking dinner? So either we are, we are not giving 100% in watching TV or neither we are giving 100% eating our food. The same thing is with uh, speaking on phone while driving your car. So even small, small things, if we find it difficult to give, <laughs> deliver our 100%. Okay, leave it aside. See, 100% is a mathematical term. 100% is a mathematical term. A schoolboy, a student can score 100% marks. A club can have 100% membership renewal. Right? Uh, a school can have 100% result. All of you, all of you can donate your 100% income and asset to me, which I will accept with, with very, very gratitude. You may donate. So, but, but friends, money, marks, students, or members, these all are quantitative terms. We can count them. We can count them. Now think of love. Think of gratitude. Think of attitude. Think of efforts. These all are qualitative terms. We cannot count them. When effort, when it is a qualitative term and we cannot count it, how can we do 100%? No friends. Imagine a scene where uh, when, when you are blessed with a daughter, you are blessed with a daughter and you give your 100% love to your daughter. Now, Almighty is great. And once again, he has blessed you, the son. Now, what will happen to that 100%? Will it be 50-50 to both? No. You will give as much as love you can give to, to both of them. So love is again, I mean, the same thing is with efforts. Same thing is with effort. We cannot count it. 100% means uh, uh, 100 out of 100. It has a numerator. It has a denominator. Right? Had it been a physical meeting, I would have explained it better. Uh, I, would have, I would have given a demo, but still, uh, I, I'll let you know what I did today. I just, I thought I should write digits 1 to 10 and taking minimum time. I just did that. I, I, I wrote 1 to 10 digits in minimum time. I took 5.6 seconds. Then I practiced for 2-3 times and again noted the time. I could complete it within 5.1 seconds. The time came down and I'm sure, and I'm sure if I practice more, I can do it under five seconds. It means that capacity of me, I can improve by practicing, practicing, practicing. Either I had not given my 100% earlier or I have improved my capacity. One more thing, it is good to say that you give 100% to become the best. But friends, I don't believe in become, becoming the best also because I don't believe in superlative degrees. Superlative degrees are always amongst the available ones. Best in the club, best in the area, best in the division. But best in the club may not be best in the area. Best in the area may not be best in the, in the division or country or whatever. So again, that differs, that differs. So that is why I say that I don't believe in, in giving the 100%. I don't believe in superlative degrees, but I believe in giving more than what have given earlier because I want to be the best. 
I want to become better than the best. So to me, better is better than the best, right? It's a, it's a better word. So I would go for it and I would urge all of you, don't say, when, you, we, we, when we do not uh, know about our capacity, we, don't, we should not say that we will give our 100%, but we should say that we will become better by practicing, practicing, practicing more because it is the only key and we will do uh, much better than what were we have done earlier. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Asho. That was a true way of persuading not only people around you, around the globe, because we often say, I have tried my 100%, but still there is one person at least remaining so that it is incomplete. That is what exactly Toastmaster Ashok presented us today. Because before jumping into the bandwagon of the superlatives, he believes that there's a scope of improvement. And that is what all about challenges. Face a challenge to be a better you than what you have done it before. Great speech, Toastmaster Ashok. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, when we all joined Toastmasters, we were having a lot of expectations from the Toastmasters. At least we might have thought, oh, I have seen Mr. X or Miss So-and-so speaking so fluently after joining into the Toastmasters journey. But am I able to do so? It's all about trying out first, trying it out consistently trying it out every time when you get an opportunity. Try and hold the roles in the club meetings. Try to renew your membership. The first commitment when we say to the club, when we take, a, take oath as a member, bring new guests. Why don't we take these challenges? Because we are okay with where we are. Till the time we think that we are okay with where we are, we cannot move forward. Here is what, whatever challenges come to your face, take it with a smile. Take the opportunity so that we all can move forward. We can grow together and learn together. Thank you very much for this effervescent speakers for presenting the best of the speeches so far. Now it is time for us to listen to the impromptu session or the table topic session. And to do that, we have a Toastmaster who believes that the greatest challenge he faced in his Toastmaster journey, as someone else said, it is about presenting an icebreaker speech because it is the time you are going through a litmus test. As a Toastmaster, many people, I have heard about, I have seen around. Many people, it's a make or break speech. If you are getting the right spirit of Toastmaster's journey, you will continue. But we often fear feedbacks. We often fear criticism. We often fear that, no, I can't fail to ace. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, those who fail toys or more than that has become great in the world. And that is what Toastmaster Siba Langa is trying to take us through to the table topic session today. So welcome Toastmaster Siba Langa for the most exciting session of the meeting, table topic session or impromptu speaking session. The floor is all yours. Thank you, uh, DDM, again, Pidambaram. Okay, welcome again. Uh, again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow Toastmaster and dear guest. Today I am hosting a uh, Table Topic Master. Uh, you know, like, why we are doing Table Topic in Toastmaster? Any, any volunteer? We improve our speaking yes. skills to feel confident. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Very true. Because the purpose of the table topic is to have member practice 
on thinking and speaking on their feet. And the improved speaking helped to develop four communication skills. The four major communication skills, one is listening, thinking, organizing, and delivering. To help you practice today, I have prepared a few topics that hopefully uh, will help you to meet this goal. So I encourage everyone to give it a try. I may randomly uh, call anyone to participate or you can volunteer yourself. Okay, before that, let just give me a moment. Let me share my screen. Okay. Yes. Okay, is it my screen visible? Are you able to see my screen? Yes, it's visible. Visible. Confirm. Yes. Okay, so anyone volunteer? I do. Okay. I will do. Yes, so, okay, I can see Manoj. Okay, uh, Srikant, right? Okay, let's first, uh, Srikant. Uh, okay, Srikant, so, so this is the form. Are you able to see my screen, right? You can choose from 50 to 54, and I, I, I will click on that hyperlink then the topic will appear yeah please tell me what number you want to select well uh, i just uh crossed my 54th birthday 54? 54 years on this planet earth so i would definitely go with 54 i'm stepping into 55 so i'll go with 54 okay let's see okay so your topic is what is the greatest enemy of mankind? I'll, I'm repeating. What is the greatest enemy of mankind? Good evening. Thank you very much. I truly believe the question that you have asked me is a very intriguing notion that the true enemy for mankind is not anything that is outside of him, but what lies within him. There is an old African proverb which says, if there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. So that sums up the entire topic that you have given me. And the enemy that resides inside us is the self-talk that we get when we want to do something or want to pursue something. Because most of us keep listening to our brain what it says rather than listening to our heart. If there is something that you want to do, the first thing that your heart says is, yes, you can do it. You are capable of doing it. But immediately, your brain kicks in and keeps reminding you there are many people who have done and failed. So why do you want to waste your time doing this? So this double talk, what happens inside of us is what is the greatest enemy. And the only way that you can subdue or you can bring this enemy under control is by getting rid of this one small word called as ego, E-G-O, which literally means edging God out. So if you can subdue this, if you can make this your slave, then anything, my dear friend, is possible by a human being. Because the force that is happening across this planet Earth is the same force which is residing in you. When you connect to this force or this energy, Anything is possible by mankind. It all begins one simple proverb. As you think, so shall you be. Seven key little words, which we need to understand is what is happening in this world. What was an imagination once is a reality today. What was an imagination few years ago is a reality today. So what you imagine today is going to be a reality if you know how to get in sync with this energy that is flowing through each and every one of us. So get to this energy, and then you can manifest the life that you want to live. If you don't connect it, then your greatest enemy is you. Because in Leo Tolstoy's greatest novel, The Death of Island Illich, he asked one simple question lying on his deathbed. What if my life has been wrong? So don't allow that question to be asked when you are there in this world give and contribute to mankind so that you will not be ashamed when you take your last breath make a contribution and make this world a better place you and i can do it so the enemy lies within 
get rid of that enemy subdue your ego and you can see miracle happening in front of your eyes thank you very much back to you thank you great speech shrikant great it's very true we have to eliminate our ego then we can move ahead yes let's go to our master set uh, okay i can see any volunteer i can see my account right uh, could you please rename yeah. your yusuf sorry yusuf right yes okay uh what number you want to go i go with 53 53 okay here you go let's see uh, okay this topic is uh, okay so any idea about holi no what is holi actually it's holi is a uh, indian uh, one uh, celebration we are uh, we are uh, playing here colorful holi okay so, yes so what is your planning to celebrate this year kind of uh, you are you are celebrating christmas right yeah so here we are celebrating a kind of celebration as a holi colorful so you can say on that yes i will try with what is yeah. my planning to celebrate this year holi yes well ladies and gentlemen i celebrate christmas and during christmas we have colorful things as well like light bulbs in the trees and all the street is lighting up the houses are lighting up with beautiful lighting it's it's a great time to celebrate this kind of celebration why because at this time everybody is so happy happy because we are facing a new way of life the spring time is coming and everything will look beautiful and during this time people are forgiving each other we love each other we forgive each other we exchange gift with each other we give present to the people who don't have anything isn't it lovely i plan to distribute the things that i collected from all my friends i will go to the orphanage to the old people's home and celebrate with them and give them gift and to make them happy of course sometimes we bring them clothes colorful one and we are all going to sing together and wear new clothes it's a lovely time to spend the holiday thank you very much back to you thank you yusuf yeah it's good try and one thing i i i like it like uh, in celebration time na like uh, if we meet our friend meet our uh, our relatives now we can forgive their like any negative thoughts and all yes okay next let's back to master sheet yeah uh any volunteer or i can pick okay let's go uh mm, toshmash manoj you want to try yeah i can try i can go for yes. 50 50 yes let's see okay so your topic is your memorable experience on holi your memorable experience on holi over to you dost master manoj okay am i audible and am i visible to you yes you are audible and visible okay thank you holi is another celebration celebration of colors and when do you celebrate with colors it is celebration of happiness happiness has different shades of colors different hues like the rainbow once you see the rainbow after the rain it looks so very beautiful and the whole world is full of colors and in india we also celebrate with colors this great festival of holi where everybody becomes equal the greatest gift of holi is when everybody comes equal you forget about your status mm-hmm. status based upon your position your wealth so once everybody comes to the same plane it's like a bonhami 
that we have, the effervescence that we start, the bubble, effervescence is also the bubble, the kind of bubble that we start, start swaying in our face, the colors that we adorn on our whole body and look at each other, that colors spread a lot of happiness and bliss. So once you are playing this holy, after two days there is holy in India, and we'll be again celebrating. It's a celebration of happiness, joy, and more than anything, what I like about Holi is where everybody becomes equal. There is no one who is bigger than me. There is no one who is lower than me. So that equality that brings in Banhami, that camaraderie of humanity is seen in Holi. Everybody comes and they play. There are a lot of games also we play. I remember I can go back to my school days when I used to play, not only with colors, but also the mud, with mother earth. We used to dig big ditches, pour a lot of water into it and jump into that. And all our teachers used to lift them up and put them in that. It's like being in the lap of mother earth. What beautiful feeling it is. The mud of mother earth getting, you know, getting kicked on you and you feel encompassed and embraced by Mother Earth. So that's the greatest feeling of Holi. So let's celebrate these colors and let's spread happiness all around. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Manoj. You remember me, my childhood. Okay, uh, let's go back to Master Set. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Any volunteer or I can... I can see... Ranjini Rao. Ranjini Rao, you want to try? You want to give it a try? Uh, yeah, good evening. I don't know what's going on. I just uh, logged in. So I'm not okay, so today is, my, okay, so currently uh, we are doing a table topic master. So here okay. are two number, 51 and 52. Okay. You can choose yeah. any one. And for table that, topic? For the table topic, yes. Okay. And yeah, for the time, 51. 51, right? You, you know the timeline, right? For the table topic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it all right if I don't switch on the video? Uh, it's up to you. If you are comfortable, then you can turn off yeah. your, turn on your video. Yeah. Or you can speak. Yeah, 51. Okay, click 51. Let's see. Okay. So your question is, what question do you often ask yourself? What question do you often ask yourself? Over to you, Ranjini. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. The question that I ask myself often is, what have I achieved in my life so far? This constantly rings in my mind. And looking back at my journey, have I done enough? for the purpose for which I was brought into this world? My answer probably is no. Because when I look at some of the greatest social workers that I see around, how they have dedicated their life to the upliftment of others, then I find that I have just achieved just a minuscule in this vast universe. Each one have their own restrictions and limitations. But within that framework of mine, I find that whatever is possible, whenever is possible, to whomever it is possible, you offer a little bit of help so that when you look around, you can say that, yes, I have achieved that at least little minuscule in this vast universe. You might not be able to compete with the greatest of leaders like Nelson Mandela or Mahatma Gandhi, but you can be one by uplifting others and bringing a smile on somebody else's face. However little bit of work that you can do, I think we should do, whether it is to human beings, plants, or animals. That is my take on it. Over to you. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Ranjini. Okay, before going to next uh, 
timer uh, is it fine can if you... i will take one more if you can wind it up with this uh, it will be much appreciated siba it's you attempted attempted four questions so yeah, is I it okay yes yeah, yeah i'm fine Okay, so that's it from my side for the table topic. Over to you, Aditi and Pritambaram. Thank you. Thank you very much, Close Master Siba, for giving Sharing. attempts a challenge and getting the right answers for all your questions. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give a big round of applause to Close Master Siba for conducting the table topic in the right spirit. Moving to the places where sadly we face challenge at times because it is not that easy to accept feedbacks, accept constructive feedback, accept constructive criticism because we often hate that someone tells us, no, you are doing the right thing, but you can do it in a better way. But we in Toastmasters, in the true essence, we believe that this challenge of accepting the feedback will definitely give you the best result when you are, or I will not use the best superlative, of course, at least the better results when you are on the stage for the next time, because whatever your evaluator is saying is trying to improve your own things in addition to rest of the audience. So even I am benefiting from the evaluation what I'm going to hear now. For the first evaluator, let us invite distinguished Toastmaster Vaughn Eric to evaluate the speech of Toastmaster Laura Jones. Vaughn, the floor is yours. Sarah, can you change your background, please? You're still in yellow. It's all good. It might take a few months, year, but tonight, Laura finds its way. Finds her way to deliver her first ever speech in Toastmaster. Hello Toastmasters, friends, ladies and gentlemen, especially to you, Laura. Good evening. Falling down is part of life. Getting back up is living. And that is what Laura showed us, us tonight. Thank you, Laura, for sharing your story. Now, to be able to give you an evaluation that might help you, I'm going to use five letters that will incorporate my feedback. The first three letters, and that is L-A-U. L, if you can see this L. Laudable. You shown us laudable personality, laudable act, and courage. You also shown us your effervescent personality because you're constantly smiling while you're doing your speech. I commend your hand gesture. I commend your courage. And most especially, I commend maintaining your composure when sharing your challenging story. The next letter that I wanna share you, letter A. You accepted the challenge tonight. Congratulations. Just like our team, accept the challenge. And you are that person. The next letter is you. You are unique. Your stories are unique. Depression, anxiety. You shared everything. Great job. The next one is R. And this will make you challenge in your next presentation. 
I want to see you rise up or you stand up. That way, you on the stage, we will see more body language and gesture. And lastly, is another letter A, action. What I mean by that, when you stand up, I can see more action, your body language, hand gestures, and you will convey your message very well. So that is the two challenges that I want to share to you and to everyone else. Rise up and you will have an action. Overall, Laura, if you notice, I use the letter of your, your name. This is you, Laura. You are unique. Because this is your story, your original story, Laura. Everyone, please unmute and give a warm up applause to Laura. Over to you, DTM Pitambran. Thank you very much. The uniqueness of DTM Bond's evaluation is this. He makes that evaluation to the best way so that the speaker never feel that I am being noticed in a different way, whereas I am being gifted in the best way possible. Sorry, Ashok, this time I'm using the superlative because the best way of evaluation I have seen is this. Thank you very much. And Ross Masalara, you are so lucky that you received the right evaluation from the right evaluator for the right speech. Moving to the next evaluator. Again, I have done the introduction of this evaluator, but it is Toastmaster Manoj Lanka to evaluate the speech of Toastmaster Imran. The past is gone. Let it go, Toastmaster Manoj. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Pitambaram. Coming on to the evaluation, the past is gone. Let it go. A wonderful title because very, very catchy. And the way he started, my life is so beautiful. A kind of effervescence was bubbling out of this young man when he talked about this. Then he says, yes, the lows, the highs, but still, I'm happy. Where do you get so much of positivity? Coming on to this content, he used a prop, a half-filled bottle of water. To bring in that anecdote, of if you hold it for longer, it becomes too very heavy for you. So why to carry that baggage of your past? Then he jumped into two stories of his own life. And the very, very difficult stories to share in a public forum, but he did it with aplomb. So going back to his school days, then once he grows up, when his father says, you are no good, it's not easy to digest. And he reacted, left his home. But later on, he realized how much his father loves him. But all this, the positivity is, he says, I'm back. If today I'm speaking to you, all those kind of experiences then drag me back. So that shows the character of this person. Now coming to his delivery. It's true. But the statue was very, very balanced. Then as the main focus of this talk was body language, he used body language to optimum level. But the thing that could be improved is bring in more difference in the body language, make it more appropriate. I found your body language to be a bit monotonous. It was going like this, then this. So you have to make it like when you ask that question in the beginning, what about your life? So ask the audience, what do you think about your life, how it is affecting you? When you brought that instance of your father and you, the dialogue, you could have brought it to a kind of dialogue situation. Your father said, you are no good. And I was just, I was trapped. How can a father tell me like this? So all those things, if you bring in, your talk is going to go to a next level. 
So that variety in the body language is very, very essential. You used it, you use the space, you use body language, but bring in those variety in the body language to make it more appropriate. Or else your structure was superb. It had a great beginning. Then, as I say, the main body is like a kaleidoscope. You took us through three different stories. One story to another story to another story. It was very well carved, well entwined into your talk. And the best thing to end in a talk is to give a takeaway for the audience. And you had a wonderful takeaway. Where to carry your old baggage? It is too heavy. Put it down and feel happy. Thank you. Over to TMOD of the day. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Manoj, for that wonderful evaluation. And the last evaluator for today is Distinguished Toastmaster Dajbara to evaluate how well Toastmasters Ashok Gogli persuaded not only Raj, all of us today. Raj, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Distinguished Toastmaster Pithamran. I don't believe in giving 100%. How many of you feel the same? Whether you realize this or not, Toastmaster Astok made us realize with his speech today that we just believe, we say we will give 100%, and we say we have given, but practically, logically, we do not give our 100%. With multiple examples, with multiple questions, Toastmaster Ashok made us realize in his speech today. Whether all of you agree with this or no? I believe yes. He persuaded us completely that we do not give 100% in each time. What I loved most about a speech, Toastmaster Ashok, a speech is today I felt he was very confident while delivering to us. I loved the smile he had carried today throughout this speech. The positive energy which he was carrying throughout the speech it was very powerful today. As I had witnessed his previous speeches too, were a little uh, challenging. He made us realize how we do not give our 100% and where we can give our 100%. I love this a lot as you make us a difference that if something is in quantitative manner, we can measure that we are giving our 100%. And if something is in qualitative measurement, we can't measure, it is not possible to give 100% every time. Thank you so much, Asok, for all this. Coming from Toastmasters' perspectives, Toastmaster Asok, we say that we become part of Toastmaster to transform our lives. I believe this very strongly. But how, how we can transform our lives? How? Using Toastmasters. When we write our speeches or projects, we dig out a lot in ourselves that how we, are, how we are living that examples which we are sharing with the audience. Whether those examples, those stories have been with us, within us or no. So I would like to have you that think this example in your personal life. What are those moments where you did not give 100% or you felt you gave your 100%? So develop the stories outline completely with your personal life example. Here you will think in yourself, here you will dig down a lot in yourself and here you will say that, okay, I did this in my past. I did not give 100%. I will do this probably in after one year or within a six month. And I will feel that transformation while thinking in yourself while writing the next speech projects. Toastmasters. But yes, I always enjoy to listen to you because you carry always positive energy, positive stamina and a lot of energy you always carry. Just have center point of your speech, you, because you matters most while delivering your speech. Thank you. Back to you, General Evaluator Pithamran. Thank you very much, DTM Raj. You matters the most. A key word 
from this evaluation for me is that you matter the most. So whatever you do, do it in the spirit, the true spirit. That's all from the evaluator side now. Now let us hear from our timer about the time taken by the speakers and the table topic commentators. Timer, Toastmaster Esara, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, DTM. The thing, I need a few more seconds to fill up my table. Can you give me a few more seconds? Because I'll fill up the, the timetable. Okay, okay. Can okay. let us, okay. So uh, let me invite our grammarian then, instead of speaking for the time. Grammarian Toastmaster Praveen, please present your report. Yes, thank you, Toastmaster Pidambaran. <clears throat> So as we observed that the word of the day was effervescence and the idiom of the day was jump on the bandwagon, which we used uh, very several times. Like the word of the day and idiom of the day was used by Toastmaster Pitambran two to three times. And also it, the word of the day and idiom of the day we used one times each by Toastmaster Manoj, Toastmaster Laura and Toastmaster Ashok. And the good usage of English language were some good words which are used were limitless gratitude. And not so good usage was in one instance where speaker had said that he had start applying the learning. But instead it should be mentioned as starting applying the learnings. And there was no other incorrect usage. All the speeches had good usage of English language. That's all from my side. And back to Toastmaster Pidam. Thank you very much for wonderfully reporting all the aspects of the grammarian today. Now, Toastmaster, sir, are you ready for that? As the timer. You are muted. I will just read it out. I will just read it out because uh, today there's too many to fill up. So I cannot manage it. Uh, okay, I will just uh, read out. Um, okay, speaker number one, uh, Laura May, time taken is five minutes, 18 seconds. Speaker number two, Imran, seven minutes, one second. Speaker number three, Ashok, uh, seven minutes, eight seconds. Then um, table topic, Srikan. Um, three minutes, zero, one second. Uh, Yusuf, one minute, 23 second. Manoj, two minutes, 30 second. Ranjini, one minute, 53 seconds. Um, evaluator number one for Laura, DTM one, uh, three minutes, uh, 32 seconds. Imran, for Imran is, um, uh, the uh, Toastmaster Manoj, three minutes. Uh, for Toastmaster Ashok, DTM Raj, uh, three minutes, 30 seconds exactly. And then uh, that's all. Grammarian, I didn't write it. So I didn't want to Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Toastmaster Sarah, for noting down all the timing and giving us the right feedback for that. So if we have a plan to uh, launch a, a poll for the best speaker, best evaluator, and best table topic commentator, moderator, please do so. One now minute. it is time for me to, pardon me? Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, Grammarian, 55 uh, seconds. Sorry. Thank great, you. great, great. Thank you. So it is time for me to invite a person who was sitting silently so far. And for him, the best or the biggest challenge so far had been putting the right word together when writing a speech and practicing it. Isn't it amazing? Because he's trying the right spirit. That is what I understand. Because Toastmaster is all about you know, making mistakes, learning from the and moving forward. So to be the general evaluator today, let me invite Toastmaster Danish Soma with a big round of applause. Thank you, Toastmasters of the day. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. My name is Dani Soma. Today, I will play the role of general evaluator. Before starting the general evaluation round, I would like to ask a simple question. Why do we have a general evaluator round in Toastmaster meeting? 
Anyone? Anyone? To have overall, overall view of the happenings. Thank you. We do general evaluator to learn from our mistakes. What thing go wrong, go wrong from our end? And what learning do we have for the upcoming meetings? So I will start with the very beginning. Meeting agenda shared in the group before meet, before the meeting. So kudos to the PP education Toastmaster Manoj. Toastmaster now starting the meet. Sergeant at arms, Toastmaster Siba explained the role quite well and explained tone and do's of the meeting. Also shared the mission of mission statement of the club and handed over stage to the to the presiding officer TTM Raj. TTM Raj explained the importance of gave a beautiful message through the banking system and hand over the state to the Toastmaster Day TTM Pritambaram. As an introduction was given by DTM Raj, Toastmaster Pritambaram took a boom and just landing, just jump on the bad wagon. I was I was not able to stop staring at the screen at a moment. So we may applause Toastmaster Pritambaram for this wonderful session. Toastmaster Pritambaram, along with this theme, accept a challenge. Also introduced the role players for the meeting. Toastmaster Estera as a timer explained their role quite well. And Toastmaster, Gra Toastmaster Praveen as a grammarian explained the role of grammarian. And also introduced also explain, also introduced the word of the day and the item of the day. Moving to the prepared speakers, all the speakers are afferents, and all the speeches are very prepared and delivered. Moving to the table topic session, Toastmaster Shiva explain the importance of table topic session in a Toastmaster meeting. And, and, and he come up with a very beautiful way of choosing a table topic session for the speakers. So there are some, and regarding the last round, revaluation, all the evaluators gave us proper feedback and suggestion to the fellow to, to the, to the speakers and also, which also help others to incorporate the changes and suggestion in their own speeches. Now there are some recommendations from my end first. Feedback form for the speaker is not shared in the today's meeting. Second, I to, uh, TMOD, Toastmaster Pritambaram, forget to introduce the general flow of the meeting, which is quite important for the person outside the Toastmaster, like guest. And our counter was ro role was missing to for today's meeting. We uh, now we are at the end of the meeting. So I would like to congratulate each and every every role player for taking the roles and each and 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 give a, a, and and give a, a round of applause for each and every one for attending such for attending this meeting thanks and back to you tmod that was something amazing and i opening quick fire general evaluation i know that per i did flow today because lots of obstacles was there in front of me two telephones simultaneously related to my work late and things and I couldn't manage it all well. I, I know that, but it's a challenge which is thrown to me. If you are doing a role, do it in the right way. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Danish, for that eye-opening session of general evaluation. Now, Toastmaster let, uh, Shilpi, are you here? So though the role of event, uh, uh, our counter was not. Yes, yeah, she has left, I suppose. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay. Fine. So once again, thank you very much, beautiful ladies and handsome gentlemen for joining today's meeting. And I'm so happy that I'm back in the meeting after a bit of time, but consistently attending a meeting and not attending a meeting is the exact di difference what I did learn today because I know I did a lot of mistakes as a role player of Toastmaster of the day. It was just because one thing, mainly I must say, nowadays I'm attending only the physical meetings. So online meetings are totally not. And that gives me a bit of trouble now understanding and doing the things in a different way. But overall, I must congratulate each and every one of you for joining to today's meeting and doing your role to the best way possible.
Now, I wish to give three challenges to all the members for the remaining three months of this term, including myself. Number one, attend regular meetings. Attend regular meetings. Are you okay with that? Great, at least I got one response. Two, thank you very much. Three, that means every one of us are committed to. And the second challenge what I want to give to you all is that prepare the rules beforehand. Sign up today itself for the remaining meetings, the rules what you are going to take so that UP education is happy, you are happy because you can perform your role in the best way. Are you okay with that? Great. And the third challenge, what I am going to give you is that a challenge to change ourselves. Remove that LLE from challenge, it become change. And what are those excuses you are looking at for changing? It could be related to anything, but try to find that small excuses which stops you from attending meeting, taking up roles, doing your best. So let us change the challenge as a new word today, that is change. So let us change from here on for our Toastmasters journey and renew the membership on time now itself. Thank you very much with this, back to you. President Toastmaster Raj Bharat. Distinguished Toastmaster Raj Bharat. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the Day, Distinguished Toastmaster Pithambran. So with this, we come to the end of this meeting. Siva, is it possible to have a, a feedback, sorry, voting link to prepare in this short moment? Is Siva here? Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, have today celebrate that everyone uh, did well, and uh, let's do not have voting. We all are winner in ourselves. All the speakers, evaluators, and the table topic speakers. I would like to have few announcements as uh, uh, distinguished host Master Pithamran just pointed it out. Renewals time has begun. So those who are yet to complete your renewals, kindly do so on a priority basis. We had started Roast Master of the Month recognition for our club members. And for the month of Fab, Roast Master of the Month award has been recognized to Roast Master Sunita Chaudhary. So congratulations to her. She is unavailable right now, but yes, she has been consistent in the month of Fab throughout. One more point I would like to highlight is district, we are part of District 98 and District 98 is conducting annual conference of Toastmasters at district level in the month of May at Ahmedabad. Those who wish to participate and attend, please feel free to register as this is going to be an ocean of Toastmasters event. With this, we conclude today's meeting. See you at next meeting of Yogan Dashtar Toast Masters Club. Thank you so much. With this, we stop recording for today's.